Meme review. Meme review. Meme review. Welcome everybody to my brand new show called Meme review. You guessed it. This is a completely original idea that no one's ever done before and uh, therefore I am proud to copyright this idea so that no one else can do what I'm doing. Meme review. I will take down anyone with copyright infringements. I have lawyers. Be aware or else I will be very angry. On this very first meme review, it's this is a historic moment of this channel. We are going to pick a meme somewhat recent. Maybe you've seen it a week ago. It was a webcomic and it goes like this. My bike got stolen recently. Sad face. But I think whoever stole it was probably more happy to get it than I am sad to lose it. The total happiness in the world increased. So whatever. Now despite being the most retarded sense of logic I've ever heard, it's an innocent little webcomic. But boy oh boy did the internet not take this well. <laughs> People immediately started to parody uh, this way of thinking uh, and uh, some of the responses are very funny. Sonic got killed recently. I was pretty bummed about it. But I think whoever killed him was probably more happy to see him die than I am sad to lose him. The total happiness in the world increased. So whatever. As long as the total happiness in the world is increased. Whatever. Am I right? We also have my bike got stolen recently. I was pretty bummed out about it. But then I thought... Where's my fucking bike? These are pretty innocent parodies. Owl Turd even uh, retweeted them himself. But then there's... Uh, <laughs> Then there's uh, the, the more dank ones. <laughs> My wife got fucked recently. I, I was pretty bummed about it. But I think whoever fucked her was probably more happy to get it on than I am sad to get cut. The total happiness in the world increased. <laughs> Uh, after this amazing way of thinking sort of spread around the internet, this comic strip got renamed to Bike Cuck. The creator of the meme reached out and said, please, stop calling me Bike Cuck. And their response <laughs> was, I guess he just doesn't appreciate that the joy other experience in perpetuating the Bike Cuck meme is greater than the joy he would have experienced it not being called Bike Cuck. <laughs> As can happen with the internet and go and things going viral, it can be a bit overwhelming. And uh, Shen even said that he's gonna take a break because of personal stuff. And then of course people made my favorite artist stop. <laughs> my favorite artist stopped posting recently. I was pretty bummed out about it. But I think whoever both <laughs> it's <laughs> was okay. All right, but I think whoever bullied him into it was probably more happy to do it than I am sad to lose him. The total happiness in the world increased, so whatever. Conclusion of this meme. I really enjoy Alter's work. Some of them are really, really funny. Uh, I, w when I was looking around, he's, he's a great artist, no doubt about it. And he even said himself he's okay with the memes, and the reason he took a break was because um, other personal issues that somehow appeared at the exact same time. So, you know, he's embracing the joke, uh, which uh, is always appreciated. It, it never looks good if you don't, at least. But, uh, and even some of the responses that I saw underneath his tweet, literally, if you go to the, the, the tweet in question, the first response is, this precise bullshit is what hedonism is exactly trash. Any society based on your bullshit concept would collapse. I'm not saying you should be more upset. I'm saying that the reason you aren't means that you don't understand utility and the ideology. Learn. And while I'm at it. <laughs> it's like, Jesus Christ, dude. At the end of the day, it's just a webcomic. And while I'm at it, how regular and high income do you have to write something like this? <laughs> oh my god. I understand him taking a break, and at the end of the day, who 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 am I or anyone else to tell them how to feel about something happening? You know, although the whole letting go of something, I, I sort of understand that in the sense of when I donate stuff that I maybe have a personal attachment to, maybe uh, 
some sweater that I don't really like anymore, but it has some sort of sentimental value. And my door is ringing. But this is not the first time webcomics have been criticized. There's the famous BuzzFeed webcomic, Books of Adam, which uh, some would say, not me of course, I love Books of Adam, it's my favorite webcomic of all time. Some would say it's a bit lazy. I mean, I don't see it. I see attention and detail into every single strip. And uh, I definitely don't see re-uploading the same webcomic two years later. Which I've never done with my videos. <laughs> but my favorite webcomic meme of all time... Will cl is, is this. If you, if you know this meme, you know what this means. If you don't know what this meme is, it's hella confusing. What about this meme? Does this ring a bell? This is the same meme. It is this one. Now, I, I had seen this meme for a long time. And I didn't really get it. And it's a sort of meme that you need to know the backstory of to get. So in case you ha don't know the backstory, don't worry. I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes explaining it to you. <laughs> because there's nothing inherently funny about this uh, comic strip itself. But at the same time, it is. <laughs> Now this uh, comic strip is from Control Alt Delete, which you may have heard of before. Uh, it sort of came from uh, the Renaissance of web comics back in 2008. The the 4x4 kind of uh, comic strip was popularized, and it was about uh, two guys sitting on a couch playing video games. Very hilarious, but surprisingly, Control Alt Delete was very popular. It did really well. For its time, and uh, it sort of worked that Tim Tim would add himself into to the cartoon in uh, the best way possible, I would say. My name is Tim Buckley. I'm a 24-year-old gamer. I played every violent game in existence, and I have never killed anyone. There are millions of gamers just like me, and we're getting sick of people like you blaming your problem on us. Ignorance causes violence, not video games. Man up and take responsibility. We outnumber you, and the people that think like you don't fuck with us. Despite being very popular, Control Alt Delete, uh, it sort of became more and more criticized over time for lacking how to tell a joke properly, which is ironic of me to talk about. But Tim would often blur out the punchline before the end of the strip and uh, sort of beating the joke itself to death. And it, and it became a meme to remove the middle strip and somehow his comic strip would be then funnier. All ready to go? I don't know, you haven't told me where it is that we are going. And done finally. When did we get a bowling ball? <laughs> Control Alt Delete was also criticized for having way too much unnecessary text. Now where have we heard that before? A webcomic with too much text. I can't possibly think of anything. Oh, 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 oh. Now the years sort of went by between uh, between slightly sexist jokes and uh, slightly racist jokes. Again, ironic for me to talk about. Out of nowhere comes this comic strip titled Loss. And it sort of hit people uh, for being so blatantly out of nowhere that it sort of became the joke itself. No one was expecting this, and the 4x4 panel of comics is typically used to make a setup, and then the last strip being the punchline. And now the last strip being the punchline of a miscarriage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Which again really displays Tim's inability to properly tell the story. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, the miscarriage here is not the joke. The joke is that the edits of this make fun of how completely misplaced it is, and the way that Tim handled the subject matter <sighs> in such a terrible, terrible way that the joke itself became an inside joke. And boy oh boy did it spawn up some of the greatest meme creations I have ever seen. <laughs>
<laughs> it's just some of the most obscure shit I've ever seen, and people really appreciate you know, the, the minimalism out of this meme, that you, you can really reduce it down to just a few lines, and it's equally emotionally captivating as the original. How? How is this possibly? Oh, I see it. <laughs> Even the fucking kanji can be interpreted as a lost meme. Is that a lost meme? I think it is. Even in Dark Souls, someone made the meme inside Dark Souls. Some would say that the cad meme or lost meme is the perfect meme. Perhaps the greatest meme of all time. It's universal, it's adaptable, and it turns the joke against its creator. It's a beautiful meme. And of course, there is this. <laughs> so now you know about the last meme, <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> I would rate the bike cuck meme a solid 8 out of 10. I'm not, I'm not, and I'm gonna have to stick it to the last meme for a 10 out of 10. This has been episode 1 of Meme Review. Thank you for leaving your likes. One like means the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, a squad fam. Meme review.